What is up YouTubers and lovers of budget cars and bikes? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Honda VTR Firestorm. I just can't seem to give up on these bikes. Um, the black one, both the black ones I've had previous to this, I'm hoping you've seen the videos to those. I'll stick them in up here somewhere throughout this video. But this one, I just couldn't resist it. It came up at such a price and I just had to have it because I really do love when they, have, they come with this lower fairing bit here. And I love the stickers on this one. It's got a carbon fiber front mud guard, the wheel, I haven't got any marks there's no marks on the but it, it was just brilliant and you know I just had to pull the trigger on it because the, the guy basically didn't get on with it he bought it last year from a dealer paid about two and a half grand for it um, he didn't get on with it doesn't like v-twins he decided to go back to uh, inline fours I think he was looking for a CBR 1100 super blackbird which we've done on the channel I'll stick a link in up here as well for a series of those uh, but as I said I couldn't resist it it just looked so interesting this bike that I thought you know um, we're gonna have to go for it basically we'll talk about prices in a minute I'm not gonna make this a review video per se because we've done this twice already so it does seem kind of pointless I just wanted to show you what you can get for your money so we are literally looking at this bike bike um, at the same time it's literally just come in now the guys have just delivered it I have not even sat on it but as you can see we're gonna check this out together it is extraordinarily clean isn't it and it's original as well original indicators as well nobody's fanning about with uh, silly little LED ones uh, aftermarket levers by the looks of it um, original uh, wing mirrors as it were a little bit of a scuff on there it's got some really interesting power tech exhausts on there as well I've not seen power tech exhausts but it's also got this shock on here which apparently is about 500 quid if you want to buy it I think it's the nitron shock um, so that's like 500 quid's worth there and the rest of the bike is looking pretty clean what's going on here that's just dust that's good um, it hasn't got a smaller number plate just a nice one it's got this passenger grab handlebar here as well which I'm not sure about just like I'm not sure about the seat as well but we'll talk about that seat in a minute let's have a little look around this side pyramid plastics rear hugger as well brilliant more of that shock there as well which as I said was about 500 quid apparently I reckon somebody's probably sanded back that engine case there and that's about all they've done with it that's fine that's not a big problem a little bit of seepage from the thermostat housing there but generally speaking I think you'll agree this bike looks pretty shit hot the only thing i did notice in the pictures was this um obviously these are they, they can be great these covers here they're normally found on triumphs um they can be good but they can be a penny in the ass because they lift up in these corners and it looks like somebody tried to stick it back down with some like 3m type tape but it's just lifted it up isn't it so i'm going to take this half here hope there's nothing horrible underneath i could get rid of all that i mean i did this on the honda honda the triumph Sprint ST 1050, I think that had the same kind of issue. It was either the Sprint, it was one of the Triumphs only, but I'll stick it in the link up here um, because what I did with that is I took it off, I spent about an hour cleaning all the old glue off it and then I put some really thin 3M tape on there and put it back on it, it looked fine. It's got one of these little cheap um, carbon fiber gas cap thingies. When you, I say cheap because they're not, it's not a, uh, a gel one, it's just a literally stick on jobby. And it's got the uh, the cover for the yoke as well. That's good. It has done 35,000 miles, but bear in mind, this is a 1997 bike. <laughs> so it's bloody ancient. Well, a bit like me, really. But as I think you'll agree, it's it's looking pretty good. Front tyre, brilliant. Rear tyre, okay. Yeah, no problem with that at all. Now then, uh, what have I discovered about the bike um, why did I buy it? what did I know about it before I bought the bike it's got no MOT um, well it has got an MOT it's got an MOT for about a week and a half two weeks something like that um, and he did tell me that it had an advisory you took it I think he took it for a pre MOT as it were and it's blowing from one of the exhausts he reckons down in here somewhere probably where it meets uh, it's like the, the down pipes I guess um, probably where it meets in there somewhere so that's not going to be easy you know I, I haven't started this bike we're going to start this together and we'll check it out and see what this blow is all about um it sounded all right to me in the videos that he sent me but i haven't started it so well we may as well just do that actually and uh, see where we are with it's in neutral yet we may need a little bit of choke actually because it's probably been sat on the back of that guy's truck who's just delivered it give that a little bit of a tweak and we'll try that again Here, guys, I'm not sure what that's all about. 
so far, I think you'll agree, that sounds pretty good. I can't hear a massive amount of blowing. If I had to guess, guys, I'd say it was coming from that back cylinder there. Um, probably there, what we can see. I might be able to get around this side and have a little look at that. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say it was there. It does look like it's got a gasket, actually. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just in here. That's where I think it might be blown a bit. Um, but I also think it's not blowing from the exhaust, but I don't think these exhausts are that great. Maybe they need a little bit of gun gum on them. I'm going to check it all out because it could actually be blowing from down here as well. I'm going to have to investigate it, basically. But as I said, this isn't a review per se. I just wanted you to see what you can get for a £1,000. I kid you not, a £1,000. To my uh, door, it's eleven sixty. So that's £1,160 to my door. 40 quid on MOT, 1,200 quid, 12 month MOT, done. What do you think it's worth? 17, 16, double, uh, 16, 9, 5, I think it should go up for. There's money to be made here. That's four or 500 quid. The seat is growing on me. I gotta say, I actually went out yesterday and I bought a black seat, just a standard, box standard black seat, because I didn't like this seat here, didn't like the look of it. But the more I look at it, the more I kind of think, okay, well, yeah, maybe. But could I live with it? Possibly. If I was gonna keep this, which I may well do, I'd get rid of this, I think, because I don't carry passengers anyway. But this is where you guys come in. I want you to tell me what you would like to see on this. What I'm thinking of doing is doing a conversion on it. I'm thinking of doing the handlebar conversion to um, a high bar. But looking here, I think, I'm 99% sure, this has already got risers on it. Because I don't remember my other VTRs being that high up. Yeah, that could already have, I'll have to check that, but I'm pretty sure that's already got risers on it. Because, or it's got the VFR 800 bars on That doesn't look like the rest of mine do. Chime in and let me know when you see this, what you think's going on here, because I'm sure that's got risers on it already. But as I said, I was thinking about doing the whole big balls uh, conversion. It's about 200 quid, where you end up with the rental bars here, and it's a flat bar conversion, basically. But, of course, if you do that, you've got to get new um, cables for the clutch and the brake and I think you've also got to move something around here as well. Not sure. If you'd like to see that, drop it in the comments, let me know, and we'll see what we're going to do with it. But as I said, I think it's got risers on already. Drop that in the comments as well if you think I'm right there. But I'm 90% sure my other ones didn't seem that high up. If that's the case, brilliant. For a thousand pounds or 1200 quid to the door with an MOT, I could keep this in my back garden for really kind of just B road blaster days. I fancy going out and just getting a bit of V twin action going on um, and just having a bit of fun because I think you'll agree it does look pretty spectacular from every angle, apart from that seat. Not sure about that seat again. Comment on that, let me know what you think of that. We're gonna to have to investigate this blowing on the exhaust. What I might do is take it to the MOT station, let them MOT if they MOT and they don't pick up on the exhaust, great. If they pick up on it at least they can tell me where it is and then we can go from there in regards to getting it fixed a couple of stickers i don't particularly like i might take these decals off i'm not quite sure about that don't think i like them i think we'll get rid of those uh the rngs yeah great brilliant don't mind them at all but i think we'll get rid of this honda vtr here because it says vtr down the side anyway that's it i just wanted you to see what you can buy for one thousand of your great british pounds it is now march the 4th i think so it's not like we're in the depths of winter. So, uh, you know, it's not like bargain basement styly. But it's got a week's MOT. I don't think it's going to take much to get it through the next MOT. And as I said, a thousand pounds, 1200 quid to my door with a brand new MOT, hopefully, unless I need to do some work, which will only be a gasket anyway. But that's what you can buy for a thousand pounds. Incredible. Anybody that tells you you can't buy a good Japanese V twin for a thousand pounds, here's another one. I think I paid 1200 quid for my first one, 1160 for my second one, and I've just paid a thousand pounds for this one. Bargains. They're probably the best bargain bike v-twin old school kind of cruiser bike super sporter that you can buy you can't get much more fun for any less money it's not possible comment and like the video below or should i say comment below like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't if you like this kind of content and as i said comment below on uh, things you've picked up on that i may have missed the handlebars do you think that's a riser on there i'm pretty sure it is uh the exhaust blow little things like that i'd love to see your comments and as i said if you haven't subscribed consider doing that because we do quite a 
lot of this and uh, this isn't a review per se i just wanted you guys to see what you can get if you keep looking around for a thousand pounds bargain of the year so far all right guys thanks for watching